Good day, good day, good day, everyone. Good day. Yes, it is 12 p.m. We all know what time it is. It is a Tuesday, and it is time for English Home Language for Grade 9. Thank you so much for joining us today. I welcome everyone. I hope you are all good, that you have had a wonderful morning so far, and that your day has been good, that your day is great. Yes, and without a waste of time, let us quickly take the register. Let us see who is here. Let us see who is not. Let us see who is present. Let us see who is absent today. So if you are there, you know what to do. You just say hi in the chat so we can see who is here with us today. All right, okay, let's see who we have. Thank you, thank you so much. I see a lot of highs in the chat. And everyone is, you know, everyone is saying hi. They're showing that they are part of our lesson today. Thank you so much. So yes, yes you'll see today's lesson, it almost looks like it's the same as yesterday, but it's not. In fact, it's a continuation. Remember yesterday we did classes. So even today, we still continue with classes, okay? Remember, it's not classes, it's classes. So we still continue with that even today. I hope everyone is okay and everyone is ready for that. Okay, All right. So let us start without a waste of time. So today's lesson is going to be very, very, very very interactive. I expect you now to just prepare your voices, you know, hey, some voice projections out there, hey, you know, so that you can be able to speak, to talk to us today. Yes, that is how today's lesson is going to be. We are going to rely so much on speaking today because of time constraints. There is so much to do and so little time, but if we raise our hands and speak other than to type in the chat, then we will be able to cover everything that this lesson contains today. Yes, remember today's lesson is the continuation of clauses. Remember this is what we did yesterday, the noun clause, the adjectival clause, as well as the adverbial clause. You all know what that is now, so we can just pass. So this is the overview, clauses, noun clauses, adjectival clauses, as well as adverbial clauses. Okay, so can you have someone to read this for us so we can remind ourselves? Someone, anyone to read the introduction for us just so we can remind ourselves before we move on? Someone to read for us? Anyone to raise a hand to read the introduction for us? Anyone to read for us? Anyone, anyone, please read for us. Do not be scared, no one will laugh at you. I will not laugh at you, you know, yeah. So please, anyone to read the introduction for us? You would realize that if you read this introduction, you are giving yourself a better chance of being able to understand more what this lesson is all about. Thank you. 
Okay, thank you, thank you so much. We have Tando, Tando, Tando. Thank you, Tando. You you are always a lifesaver when I am asking for someone to read for me. Okay, so since you have two hands, Tando will read the first one, and Onkabizi on Onkabi will read the second one. Okay, hi Tando. Hi sir. How are you? Um, thank you, thank you so much for raising your hand. Okay, sir. So a phrase is a group of words that does not have a finite verb. The group of words in a phrase makes sense, but it is clearly incomplete. Uh, for example, okay. the children are in the garden. Yes. Thank you, thank you so much. And then we have Onkabi. Onkabi, can you read for us the second one? Remember, if you have not read first, good day, Onkabi. How are you? I'm great, and you, sir? I'm good. I'm good. Can you please read for us? A clause is a group of words that does have a finite verb. The group of words in a clause are complete and make sense. For example, the children are in the garden. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right, so thank you so much for reading for us. Now we are ready to begin. So we should remember that a clause is a group of words that does have a, a finite verb, okay? So if you remember that, then you are ready for today's lesson. All right, so let us quickly go through this before we, okay? So a noun clause is a group of words where, okay, it, a noun clause is it acts as a noun and it can be the subject or the object of a sentence. So I'm not going through the examples today. There's so much to cover. Adjectival clauses they describe a noun in a sentence. So remember that an adjectival clause it has the same function as an adjective. Okay, and the relative pronouns such as who, which or that serve to show us an adjectival clause. Uh, again, we can say adjectival clause is a group of words which contain a finite verb. They can act as an adjective and they often begin with who, whom, which or that okay so that's something we can also remember then the last one is the adverbial clause adverbial clauses are introduced by words such as although before when and because all right and then adverbial clauses they tell us more about the verb in a sentence so from here we what comes to mind is an adverb so an adverbial clause it has the same function as an adverb. All right, okay. So let's continue. So adverbial clauses act as adverbs and they tell us more about how the action takes place, when the action takes place, where the action takes place as well as why the action takes place. Okay, so this was just us going, going through what we already know so that we can be ready for what is coming today. So the summary of all this is that a noun clause acts as a noun and it can be a subject and an object of a sentence. An adjective clause acts as an adjective and it describes a noun in a sentence. And an adverbial clause tells us more about the verb in a sentence. All right, do we all understand that? Or is there anyone who needs clarity on something as far as noun clause, adjectival clause, and adverbial clause are concerned?
Okay, so I see I see that everyone is okay, it's fine. All right, now, a noun clause, since I've said it acts as a noun or as the subject or an object of a sentence, a noun clause is usually introduced by connecting with the word that. And the question was why, what, where, when, and how can also be used to introduce a noun clause. Okay, so now that we have everything out of the way, we are ready to do some activities. Okay, so we, we have three class activities. The first one will be on the noun clause. The second one will be on the adjectival clause. And the third activity would be on the adverbial clause. Okay, so since you are doing this activity together, if you want, since you're doing this activity together, when you answer it, please do not use the chat. Okay, raise your hand and Tell, raise your hand and give us the answer, okay? Because we will not be able to have enough time if we use the chat. Therefore, the quickest way, a way which will really help us to cover everything that we should need to cover in this lesson today, today would be if you raise your hand to speak, okay? All right. Now, now that we are ready, then yes, we are going to talk, okay? So for today, no writing in the chat because you will not have time for that. We will not have time for that. Okay, number one. All right. So we class activity one. Identify the noun clauses in the following sentences. Number one, I cannot understand why she is angry with me. So what is the answer for that one? So what is the answer for number one? Yes, Onka B. Sir, I'm not yes, sure oh, if yes. I'm correct or so, but I think is why she is angry with me because it describes what you or she cannot understand. Ah, that's perfect. That's perfect. That's perfect. That's correct. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Onka. Thank you so much. All right, now we can go to the next one. Okay, so now we can go to the next one. Number two, they said that they would accept the offer. What is the answer there? They said that they will accept the offer. They said that they would accept the offer. What is the answer there? What is the noun clause in that sentence? What is the noun clause in that sentence? Remember, please do not, do not be afraid to, to raise your hand, okay? Do not be afraid to raise your hand. There's no one who's going to laugh at you, okay? If it happens that your, your answer is not correct, it's okay, it's fine. We will help you, okay? We will correct you and there really is nothing wrong with that. That is how you learn, okay? That is how you learn, by making mistakes. That is how we learn. This is why we, this is why we have this lesson today to see whether we understood the non-clauses the adjectival clauses as well as the adverbial clauses and if we didn't then we have an opportunity to solidify our understanding of all these concepts okay so please 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 do not remember that you are you are at the comfort of your own room so what are you afraid of you are at your own home what are you afraid of eh? what are you afraid of Re remember i said we will not be using the chat today because of time constraints. Therefore, if you want to answer, please raise your hand and speak. Okay, we have Onka B again. Sir? Yes, what's the answer for the non phase for number two? I think it's accept the offer. Accept the offer? Yes, sir. 
Okay, okay. Just, just hold like that. Just hold like that. Let me show you something. Let's go back a bit. Mm -hmm. Okay, noun clauses are usually introduced by the connecting word that. Okay, now let us go back. What is the answer? They would accept the offer? That they would accept the offer. Oh. Yes. So that you, they would accept the offer is the answer. Thank you, Ongabi. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate your your participation in the lesson. I hope everyone else will be inspired. Number three, I think I will win. I think this is easy enough. Since you're still there, okay. All right, Ongabi. Since you're still there, Ongabi, what do you think is the answer for this one? So why don't you give other people a chance? <laughs> Okay, let's see if we have a hand. Okay, we have a hand from Tandu. Okay, Ongabi wants a break. Ongabi wants to give us. Hi, Tandu. Hi, sir. How are you today? I'm good, sir. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Thank you for raising your hand. I appreciate that. Okay, sir. Um, I will win, I think. Uh -huh. Yes, that's correct. That's correct. That's correct. The I will win is the non clause. Because remember, when you win, what do you win? You win a prize. Whether it's yes. a car or it's money or it's a voucher or whatever it is, you will realize that it is a noun. Okay, therefore, I will win. I think I will win. It really replaces whatever noun it is that which you are going to win. Yeah. Thank you, Tando. That is correct. Number four, he told me that he would, he would come. Okay, let's give it to Tandu again. Where is everyone else? I'm seeing only just two hands. Hi, Tandu, welcome back so soon. <laughs> um, I think the answer is that he would come. Yes, that he would come. That is our noun clause. Thank you so much, Tandu, thank you. Number five, that you should cheat me has me. That, this is a tricky one. This is a tricky one. That you should cheat me hurts me. Okay, I see we only have Ongavit's hand, so we'll take Ongavit's hand. Um, sir, it's yes. that you should cheat me. So what do you say is the answer? That you should cheat me. Yes, correct, correct. That is the answer because another way will be to just play around with the sentence. You can say it hurts me that you should cheat me. See, so yeah. So that is correct, that you should cheat me is our yes. number. Okay, number six, you can eat whatever you want. Hey. All right, so who do we give this to? You can eat whatever you want. Okay, you can eat whatever you want. Let's see if you have any new hand here. Okay, still the same hands. Oh, there's a new hand. So let's give Ohanzi an opportunity to speak this time around. Hi, sir. Hi, how are you? Fine, thanks, sir. I'm good, I'm good. Thank you so much for raising your hand. Yes, sir. So I think the answer is whatever you want. Well, the answer is whatever you want. Yes. Yes. Yes, that's correct. Whatever you want is the answer. Thank you, Ohansi. Thank you. Yes, then number seven, can you guess what I want? Can you answer that, Ohansi? Oh, okay. Ohansi is gone. All right, let's see who can answer number seven. Can you guess what I want? Okay, do not guess what I want, okay? Just answer the question, please. <laughs> okay, Onkabi. Uh, the answer is what I want. Aha, thank you, thank you so much. What I want is our non-clause. Then number eight, 
I feel certain that she will come. It's that she will come. Mm -hmm, that's correct. Number nine, I do not know what she wants. It's what she wants. What she wants, okay. Then the last noun clause, no one knows where he is. It's where he is. It's where he is, okay. So the answer here is where he is, all right? Okay, so is there anyone who has a question or maybe you need a clarity on these non-phrases, on these non-clauses, sorry? Thank you for that time. Is there anyone who is there anyone who has a question? Maybe there's something you didn't understand, or you need clarity on any sentence yet that which we we did. Okay, so I see everyone is satisfied. Everyone is satisfied about the non-clause. I thank you so much, I'm glad. Before we move on, let's remember that with a non-clause, um, the connecting with that, it, so it introduces it, as well as the question with why, what, where, when, and how, as we have seen in class activity number one, okay? Okay, so uh, okay, what I will do, I will un I will underline the correct ones here so that yeah, I will underline them so that if it happens that later on you get this light, you can be able to see what was the correct answers for for these sentences. Okay, then number two, okay, class activity number two, identify the adjectival clauses in the following sentences. So the first one. The girl who won the first prize is my niece. So what is the adjectival clause there? The girl who won the first prize is my niece. So what is the adjectival clause there? So what is the answer for number one? Remember, you raise your hand and I'll give you a chance to speak. First hand first, yes. Okay, I see in the chat you are asking for the, the slide about adjectival clauses. Let us go there quickly. And if you have a question, please, please, please. If you have a question, please, please just ask, okay? We know we have teeth, but we will not bite you. Okay, so this is the slide on the adjectival clause. If it happens that you have a question on it, please do not hesitate to ask, okay? I am here for you to help you with whatever struggles you may be having with the lesson content. Yes, Ongabi? I'm ready to answer. Oh, you okay, all right. Let us go to the class activity number two so that you can answer. Okay, there it is. That's who won the prize. Yes, who won the first prize, okay? Yes, so the, the adjectival clause here is who won the first prize. Who won the first prize becomes our adjectival clause. Thank you, Onkabi, on that's correct. Then number two, the forest through which we traveled was dark and gloomy, 
that's scary. Okay, on we have another hand, so let's give this one to Tandu. Um, sir? Yes. Is it which we traveled? No, you, you tell me. Don't ask me, tell me. Tell me if you're wrong, we'll correct you if, yeah. Okay, I think it's which we traveled. What do you think? Tell us what you think. I think it's which we traveled. Through which you traveled. Through which you traveled. Oh. Yes, that is correct. That is correct. That is correct, Tando. That is correct. That is correct. Because, okay, remember, what makes it an adjectival cross is that even if you, even if you can remove it, we, we will still have a complete sentence. But then by bringing it in, it helps us to, to describe a noun. So here, through which you traveled, it describes what the forest, which the was forest. dark and gloomy. Okay, gloomy. Yes. So that is how you should think about an adjectival clause. It functions the same way as an adjective. You remember an adjective, it describes a noun. So even an adjectival clause, it also does the same thing. Okay, so okay. thanks. Yes, you're welcome, you're welcome. So let's go to the third one. My sister who lives in Mexico is a nurse. My sister who lives in Mexico is a nurse. Okay, we have a new hand. I'm so happy to see. Every time I see a new hand, I get so much more happy. We have Renai. Renee, Renai. I don't know. Hi. Hi, sir. How are you? How are you? I'm good in yourself, sir. I'm good, I'm good. So, what's your name? I'm good, sir. In yes. What is Renai. your name? Renai. Renai. Yes, Renai. Yes, okay. You. Yes. Okay, so what is the answer for number three? Who lives in Mexico? Yes, yes, that is correct. Who lives in Mexico, that is the answer, because the adjectival clause, who lives in Mexico, it describes my sister. You see, so it functions like it is an adjective. Thank you so much, Renai. Thank you so much. All right, then number four. Thank you, sir. This is the same house that Tennyson occupied. So what's the answer there? You, you want to answer it, Renai? No, sir. Okay, okay. So who can answer number four for us? Okay, let's see who can answer this one for us. We have Ongabi. Well, if this was a competition, Ongabi surely would have won. Yes, Ongabi, what is the answer for this one, number four? It's that Tennyson occupied. That Tennyson occupied, okay. Mm -hmm. That's correct because um, that Tennyson occupied, it tells us about the house. So. It functions like it is an adjective. Number five, this is the same old story that we have been hearing since our childhood. Can you, can you have a new hand, please? Can you have a new hand? 
I think Ongabeti is going to drink water now. <laughs> So can you have a new hand for this one? Where is everyone? Where is everyone? Remember what I said, please use that. Please raise your hand and speak because we will not be able to have enough time to go through your chat so that we can finish everything, okay? And you will realize that it's very difficult for you with the time that which we have to explain your answer in the chat, all right? So please raise your hand. Okay, we have Renee again. So good to see you again. So what is the answer for number five? That we have been hearing. All right, yes, that is true. So that we have been hearing is our adjectival clause because it tells us about the story. It describes the story. Thank you so much, Renee. Thank you so much. Then number six, he has a brilliant son who is certain to bring credit to his family. Okay, okay so what is the answer there? Okay, we have Tanru's hand is up. <clears throat> Um, sir, so I'm not quite sure, but I think it's who is certain. Who, who is certain? Yes, that is true. That is true. That, that's correct, Tando. That's correct. Okay. So, Tando. Sir? Let me tell you something. Okay. So, if you, when you answer whether you are not sure or not, okay, just be sure about that you are answering. Okay. Whether you are correct or not. Is fine. You will see that. Okay. So yeah, just yes, sir. do not be too confused. Do not be confused or like waver. You know. Okay, yes. sir. Just believe, Thank you. Just believe in yourself and also believe in your answer. Okay. If okay, it's correct, sir. that's good. If it's not correct, that's also good because you will get corrected. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. I'm. I like that. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Number seven. All that glitters is not gold. All that glitters is not gold. Oh, ah, yes, 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 we have a new name. We have a new name, a new hand from Tandi. Tandi, hi. Hello, sir. How are you? Um, good, thanks to me. I'm good, I'm good. Thank you so much for, thank you so much for making me smile more. I get so happy when I see new hands raising. Yes. So what is the answer for number seven? What do you think is the answer? Okay. So what do you think is the answer? Seven. Number the seven, yes. is that glitters is not gold. That, that glitters is not gold. No. The, so, the answer is that glitters. Just that glitters. Okay. Okay. So. That glitters is the answer. Okay, so all that glitters is not gold. Okay, so that glitters becomes our answer. Why? Because that glitters it serves here to to modify or to describe all. Okay, so it is telling us that of 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 all things that which they are there, ne? that glitters, not all of them is okay. Yes, all things that glitters not gold. So that glitters it describes the all. Okay, so it it functions like it is our adjectival clause. It becomes like it is an adjective. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much, Tandi. Thank you. I hope that you can I answer. Like, I hope you can answer again some other no. time, even in this lesson. Thank you so much. 
Okay, number eight, he that is down fears no fall. He, he that is down fears no fall. Okay, tiny cent still up. You can give her this one again. All right, so number eight, number eight, let's see. Okay, Tandi, Tandi is running away now. Let's give it to Tando. Um, so I think the answer is that is down. That is down, that is correct. He, that is down, yes, no point. Yes, that is correct, that is down becomes our answer thank you so much tando then number nine the plan that i proposed was rejected the plan that i proposed was rejected i think onka b should come back she's been on the break for so long now where is everyone else where is everyone else Okay, we'll give this one to Tando since one with the hand up. Um, that I proposed. That I proposed, yes. Thank you so much. That is correct. Then the last one. This is the reason why he does not want to come here. Okay, Onka B is done. Is back. Let's give her this one. Welcome back, Onka B. Yes, sir. So what is the answer for number 10? Why does not want? Why he does Why? not want? This is the... Okay. This one is a bit debatable. So you think it's why he does not want? Yes, sir. Isn't it why he does not want to come? Yeah, so it's a bit... I mean, I mean, okay. Let's think about it. Why he does not want to come? Uh, so this is the the reason. Oh, so this is the re okay. So you see, the answer is why he does not want. Yes, sir. Okay, yeah, that is correct. Thank you, thank you. I was just seeing how sure you are. Okay, yes. Yeah, so remember, if if you give an answer, whatever answer that which you give, please just try to make sure that you can defend it. Okay, yeah, because. Sometimes it happens that you can really fail a test, not, not because you didn't know, but simply because you had the right answers, but then you were doubting them. Okay, so please, please, please be confident in your answers. As long as your answers, they make sense and they are correct, you know, so yeah. Okay, the last activity, we only have six minutes to do it. Therefore, let us not waste time so that we can finish on time so that tomorrow in the next lesson, we can do something new. All right, identify the adverbial clauses in the following sentences. So for you to be able to answer this one, it will be very important to remember that an adverbial clause, it acts like an adverb. Therefore, it tells us about where something is done, how it is done, when it is done, as well as why it is done. Okay, now that you understand that, you are ready to answer the question. Okay, Onkabeti, you can go first, number one. Um, I think it's the mice will play. You think it's the mice will play? Yes, sir. Why do, why do you think so? Look, I also don't know, number. but it seems correct. Okay, all right. So anyway, the correct one is while the kid is away. Why? Thank remember, you, I, remember, I just said an adverbial clause functions like an adverb okay and one thing it does is to tell us the reason why something happens okay so the mice will play why why what will be the reason why the mice will play because 
the cat is away. Exactly. Therefore, when the cat's away, it becomes our adverbial clause. You see now? Yes, sir. Okay, thank you. Number two, a lie travels around the world while truth is putting her boots. Okay, we have another hand. Let's give this to Tandu. Um, so it's yes. while truth is putting her boots on. Exactly, that's correct. While truth is putting her boots on, a light travels around the world. So then this shows that if this shows that if the truth was ready, then there will not be time for a lie to travel around the world. Thank you, that is correct. Number three. If you don't know where you are going, any road will get you there. So what is the answer for that one? So number three, what is the answer? Oh, Tando's hand is up. Um, any road will get you there. Mm, think about it, think about it. Okay, if you don't know where you're going, any road will get you there. Um, is it where you are going? No, okay, no. <laughs> I was no. just trying to... It is correct, any road will get you there, why? when you don't know where you're going. See, so yes, oh. you are You are correct, Tando, you are correct. You are correct, okay, that so. is correct, all right. All right, number four, memory is deceptive because it is colored by today's events. I think this is an easier one. Should I answer it? Yes, you can. Yes, please. Um, because it is colored by today's events. Aha, uh -huh. thank you, thank you so much. Number five, never look down on anybody unless you are helping him up. What's the answer there? Okay, so the answer for number five would be, the answer for number five would be unless you are helping him up. That will be the answer because it tells us the reason why you should never look down on anyone. Number six. Okay, for number six, we have, you have to kiss a lot of toads before you find a handsome prince. So what is the answer for that one? Okay, Tando, send this up. Um, before you find a handsome prince. Yes, before you find the handsome prince, you have to keep, yes. So before you find the handsome prince is our answer. Number seven, whenever you find yourself on the side of the majority, it is time to pause and reflect. What's the answer there? Okay, so the answer here will be, whenever you find yourself on the side of the majority, then for number eight, okay, I will give you answers for eight, nine and 10 because you're out of time. So for number eight, the answer is when you are making other plans, okay? Life happens when you're making, an, when you're making other plans. Therefore, therefore, when you're making other plans is the answer. For number nine, the answer is as soon as you for, forbid something. And number 10, let us give it to Tandi. Let's give number 10 to Tandi. Yes, Tandi, you want to answer number 10 for us? As long as it's happening to somebody else. As long else. as it's happening to somebody else. Thank you, Tandi, that is correct. So thank Sir? you so much, guys. This brings us- As long as it so yes, that is the answer, as long as it's happening to somebody else. Yes. So this brings us 
Okay, you're all welcome. Thank you. So this brings us to the end of our lesson. Thank you so much for raising your hands and for answering all those activities. I hope that you benefited from this lesson, that now you have a better understanding of a noun, adjective, and adverbial clauses. Thank you so much for joining us. Let us meet again tomorrow, same time, same place, for another wonderful lesson. I love you all. Remember to stay home, stay safe, wash your hands, wear your mask, remember social distancing. So from all of us here at STEM Digital School, we love you. Goodbye and take care. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.